You're gonna get fired then. If I can't use the back seat, you're gonna get fired. I, I'm sorry about it. I I, I wouldn't. Fired, I, I, I did not. No problem. I, 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 a Lyft driver is attacked after he told the customer he didn't have enough space for the customer's equipment. It's the latest in a series of attacks on Lyft drivers. Police did make an arrest in the case, but it's raising questions about whether enough is being done to protect drivers. The attack happened August 1st outside a bar on Mission Boulevard in Harupa Valley. KKL 9's Joy Benedict spoke with that driver and a warning. Some of the images you're about to see are disturbing. I don't know an emergency. Hi, I need, I need, I need, I need medical. It was a frantic call for this rideshare driver, bloody and confused. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a Lyft driver. I'm a Lyft driver. Attacked while picking up a rider, his dash camera caught his plea to 911. I think I'm, I will die. I think I will die. He hit my head and uh, hit this part. Yi Lu said it all started at 5.30 in the morning on Sunday, August 1st. His camera was rolling when he pulled up to this bar in Harupa Valley to pick up a fare. Although his lens is facing forward, he captured the exchange. My trunk is small. You need to call the XL. He apologized as he couldn't take the rider with all his equipment. Within seconds, you hear the attack. Okay, okay, okay. He started using the microphone stand to hit my head. My hair, you see here? I got, I think, seven or six or seven stitches. Eleven days later, the stitches have been removed, but the fear still lingers. So I drive for the Russia company about almost five years. I never thought this thing happened to me. The incident started because Lou didn't want the rider putting his belongings in the back seat of his car, and he had too much to fit in the trunk. Fabio's bar in Harupa Valley says the rider was DJing there hours before, and advocates say this is an all too common occurrence that causes problems for drivers. We are not there to move all your personal belongings. Torsten Kinnert is a former driver, now advocate for drivers' rights. But I understand that you don't want all this equipment stuffed on your seats, it's your car is going to last for three months. That's reality. And although Mr. Liu will get some assistance from Lyft for medical bills and repairing his car, advocates say it's not enough. He'll get part of his medical insurance covered, a part of it, a fraction of it, and then he will be covering the first, you know, $2,500. With an estimated $8,000 in repairs to his car, medical bills, and time off work, Knurt started a GoFundMe page to help with expenses. I'm scaring also because... Scared to return to the road for fear this... My head is bleeding. ...could happen again. Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News. Real estate